Welcome to BitcoinLearning.org. This is our review of Sparrow Wallet. I actually already did one of these reviews, but I didn't feel it did it justice because I actually like this wallet here so much that, yeah, I should do a better review. So with this, when you first log into the wallet, after you create your seed, when you first log in, I'll show you right here, new wallet, you create a wallet name, anything you want, just for your records. We'll just name it anything. And it will ask you, what kind of wallet do you want to create? Single SIG, multi SIG. We'll just go with single SIG for the video. If you need to know anything about the options, just hover over the question mark and it will give you a small description of what each option does. Like you can even see this wallet supports Taproot. This wallet has a lot of options that other ones don't. It makes it a little more complex for the average user. But if you just look through the options, it's pretty simple to understand and learn how to use. Then you would just create new seed and then create a new seed word here. You can do a 24 word seed phrase. You would click that, click generate new seed. You would write this down with a pen and paper. You don't want to store a seed phrase on your computer because you can use those seed phrases to restore your wallet should something happen to your device. And if somebody else gets access to your seed phrase, they can restore your wallet for you and steal your funds. So never keep your seed phrase anywhere it could be compromised. Pen and paper inside of a safe or somewhere away from other eyes is a perfect place. So once you do that, you'll just confirm the backup. It'll have you confirm you actually wrote down the words. And then from there, you will be logged in to the wallet. This is the one I didn't, this is the one I created just before this video. And once you're in the wallet, you can see you can export the wallet to import it into another wallet software like um, Electrum, for example, or yeah, Spectre Wallet. But yeah, TXOs, this will be where all your transactions are, your unspent transaction outputs with their your address, the dates, labels, but value, which will be your balance. If you go to addresses, you'll see a list of all your available addresses that you can use, give out to people so they can send Bitcoin to you. If you click receive, it's the same thing, but more like an invoice format where you can actually fill in the label thing here, call it anything you want. And as you can see, it will always take from the first address here and it will just append a label to it for your records. You can also do that by just clicking in the label field and it will bring you back here also. To send a Bitcoin transaction, you simply click send and then paste in the Bitcoin address you want to send a payment to. And here you can customize the fee. You can make the fee lower. If it's low priority, it'll take a little longer to send or you can do high priority. It'll take a, it'll be confirmed in the blockchain a little bit faster than if it's low priority or just average. But for the most, most transactions, I would just leave it and yeah, then you would just click create transaction, well, enter the amount, Bitcoin or sats and send off the transaction to its destination. And then once you do that, you'll see all your transactions in the transaction tab. Very straightforward and simple. If we go into the wallet preferences, we can see, you can set the block explorer, you can set the currency, you can set the exchange rate source, and you can also connect to your own Bitcoin core server, a private Electrum server, or just use the public servers, which is a little less private. A Bitcoin core or an Electrum server is much more private because you won't be having to connect to a public server to get your address balances. And when, when you do connect to a public server, sometimes those servers can log which IPs connect to it and then try to match those with the Bitcoin addresses in their wallet, which compromises some security. For full security, Bitcoin core server connecting to your own server or private Electrum server is optimal. Otherwise, if you're just a normal average user, you can connect to a public server with slight reduction in privacy. And 
aside from that, yeah, if you want to know anything more about that, I'm sure it's in the documents for this wallet. This wallet has great documentation on their website as well. And on the document page, you will find almost everything you'd want to know about this wallet. If you go to the download page, you can see this wallet is for most operating systems. We have Windows, Linux, Mac OS, so any desktop type wallet, it will install perfectly fine as any other application. And yes, that is about it for the wallet. I uh, just wanted to run through and do a quick tutorial, show everyone what the wallet looks like. It's actually one of my favorite wallets now. Um, I have been using Electrum since the very beginning. I still love Electrum, but this one, I like how it looks. I like how it feels and I might even switch to it. But yeah, thank you for watching the review and I hope it's helpful.